guys, let's go self care shopping. Uh, there's a lot of things that I need and have been neglecting here. Uh, but let's go get that. Also, I just got these watermelon jerky, which like gross name, first of all, but the ingredient is literally just dried watermelon. So let's give those a try. I am a watermelon fan, like watermelon's biggest. No, because why does it look like that? No. Why does it look like that? I don't know why I was expecting like bright, bright pink. Seats? I'm a mass watermelon fan, so I am curious, but like. No, that slaps. I was real concerned. That's really good. Uh-oh. Okay, how many pieces is one whole watermelon? Because I will eat this whole entire bag. Um. Serving size. Serving size. Uh-huh. I don't see. Okay, first of all, princess parking. Second of all, I'm so excited to smell all the candles because I'm here alone and Brett's not here to tell me no that we don't need to sit here and smell the candle. So let's get to that. Okay, haul time. But also I'm so excited to be home. I feel like since I bought a house or maybe it's just because I'm pushing 30 here soon, I just wanna be home all the time. I don't want to be at the store self-care shop. Like I want to order it to Amazon to come right to me, but also like, don't be lazy, Julia. You're perfectly capable. But also like, I don't want to do it if I don't have to. I just spent an hour in traffic going to three different stores to get three products. Here's the haul. These are little pimple patches. This is the whole reason that I needed to go out actually. I've been out of these for a while and I have a pimple here and the exact other side of my face there. And so bad, but these ones are shaped as little hearts. That's cute. They were $6.99 for 72. So, I mean, I'm in Canada, so I actually don't think that that's bad at all, but I don't know. Oh, it says originally $14 because I got it at, where'd I get it? Winners. I don't know how to pronounce this name. But that's the brand right there. They're Tree Hut dupes. They're really good. Um, here in Canada, Tree Hut's new. So it's $23 for a little Tree Hut. I don't know how much it is in the States, but I'm not paying it here. Natural exfoliants, pH balancing, pathogen free, all skin types, paraben free and alcohol free. And they're $5. So I got coconut lime and I want to smell it. But I can't because they're like this in the store and I kind of could smell it but like oh my gosh oh my gosh it smells like I'm at the beach that is so good that is great stuff I was looking everywhere for hair oil because like my scalp's a little itchy. It's dry here in Canada right now because it's fall and I couldn't find any. Well, that's a lie. I could find lots, but they were like $20 and I wasn't paying $20. So I just found this hydrating, um, this is the French side, argan oil uh, hair treatment. So I got that. It was $4. Can't go wrong. Well, I can if all my hair falls out, but... I don't think that's gonna happen. So that's the haul. Hair and stuff. I have too much self care stuff for one person, and half of it's expired, half of it I'm allergic to. Like, I just need to go through it. So, this isn't even skincare or self care. I feel like I need to do something with my hair here. <clears throat> do I look bald? How do I look? 
not having it. Where's my headband? No, I don't know. Anyways, see, I need to get some order in my life. This is an empty bag. Donate. I'm just in one of those moods where I just want to throw everything out. I'm allergic to these. I just got them for in my wedding bathroom to like put in there for if the girls need something. But we're gonna throw them out. I'm allergic to these. These are the Coconut Pink Jasmine Scented Dove Zero Aluminum Deodorant. Any Zero Aluminum Deodorant. I get the worst rash. I don't know if that's like normal. It's not just these. I actually got these because I was like, maybe it's because I'm getting like high-end brands. Maybe they're putting some perfume or something in it. I don't know. So I just got these because they have like really good ratings, I guess. Anyways, I got the Costco pack. So they're not even open. But my little sister uses them and she says, oh look, there's more. And she said that in London where she lives, it's hard for her to find stick deodorant. So I don't know if that's just a her thing or if it's actually hard to find, but we're gonna donate these to her and put them on her bed for when she comes back at Christmas time. These are expired deodorant wipes. This, mmm, Christmas. I should take some of these good ones out and like leave them in my actual beauty room because I don't and then they don't get used. Like, what is this? Clean. That's like a good brand from Sephora. Oh my gosh. I think it smells like cotton. Oh my gosh, and it's a roller ball. That's nice. Oh my gosh. Get rid of. I just don't, I'm not gonna wear it. Get rid of it. That smells good. That's my grandma got me that. Victoria's Secrets always hits. These need to come out and go into the bathroom. That needs my gym bag on. Okay, guys, my friend gave me this at my wedding. Little infinity sign, but it says, I love you so much. Thanks for choosing me to stand by your side today. P.S. I'll always be, you'll always be my person. Congrats. And then I have these little earrings here from Brett's great grandmother, I think it is, who passed away, that uh, his aunt gave me these joining the family which is so sweet I cried and she did a break before I walked down the aisle uh this is a toothbrush case okay these are perfect for my gym bag I stole these from a hotel they're little dove lotions perfect so cute keep it's an extra this is a good scent cotton candy that's just an extra. I'm using the other one right now on my gym bag. This is an extra, but it should probably go in the shower here soon because I'm literally almost on my other one. This is golden sunflower. That still smells good. Which candy apple. The problem with the seasonal ones is that I use them seasonally as well. And maybe I shouldn't because then I end up like this. Vanilla bean Noel. That's one I use year round though. Mmm. That hits. That's a good one. Vanilla bean. Oh, and then this one is Twisted Peppermint. I haven't used this one yet because um, I got it during their rubber ducky sale. So it was $3. They were like, a lot of them were $3. Anyways, these are soaps. These should also go downstairs. And they're almost done. See what I mean? Seasonal. If it's seasonal, I'm not touching it. Like, as if this is going to get my germaphobe husband through December. No, it's not. That's not gonna do it. There's those. Oh, this should go next to my bed. It's a little Vaseline. This is coconut. That's expired. Wow, and then this is extra. I don't know if I still like the smell of this. No, I really like it. I do. I don't buy like perfumes often but this one is a Kat Von D one and I got samples from Sephora and then I got the roller ones and stuff in it obsessed it does smell good and then I have a mini Daisy by Marc Jacobs but it's empty so we can get rid of her 
Oh, she's not empty. Oh, she's just clear. I'm just kidding. She's almost empty. She's just clear. This I got for my birthday. I just use it as glitter. Well, that is what it is. It's just a bat, but like, it's like purple glitter. Actually, it's dried out, so now it's garbage, but it's fine. This is why you go through your stuff. That's good too. And then this is stress relief, but I already have a stress relief over there. So, <laughs> yeah. When I clean, hi Oscar, we're dealing with a little crack in the drywall there from pushing in the door. Um, usually when I clean, I just spread things around the house. So this seems like the perfect bathroom to put a little stress relief lotion. I like my plants. They're everywhere in my house. <laughs> we found this tree on the side of the road. Someone passed away and they were getting rid of all their plants. So we got that. This one's from Ikea. I got that one for Christmas one year from a secret Santa. Those are real. <laughs> Just continues. I'm cooking supper. We're having onions, peppers, chicken. Brett requested something. I don't remember what it was, but it was something with chicken. So I'm waiting to hear back from him. Oscar's waiting for supper. It's gonna spin, buddy. I know. It's gonna spin. It's never not spun. Look at look at the size of you, dude. It's never not spun. Hello. Hello. Okay, mommy's cooking, so I don't really want your hair everywhere. We have barbecue chicken nachos. We just voted. So go out there, vote. If you're in Canada, we're just watching YouTube. Brett just brought home a brand new HRV and installed it, so. Find yourself a tradesman. I helped hang it, so I guess I'm also a tradeswoman. <laughs> We're leaving Canadian Tire. We have a little sample here for paint swabs. Anyways, they didn't have any, so Brett just stole it out of the exhibit. What's that called? The display <laughs> Display shelf. Display shelf. But he was like, yeah, we don't have any more sorry and then all of a sudden he pulled my arm and i was like what are you doing and he was running away but it's because he got the sample from this display shelf <laughs> we need it we need to see if we can color match or something all right it was worth the take it was the right color we have a patch to repair in the kitchen we needed to make sure we knew it was cheap canadian tire paint because we had just moved in and did our first ever reno it's fall. We have, oh, the wind. A little pumpkin bag. We're gonna fill it with leaves, put outside. Oscar, relax. There's our pumpkin. We didn't quite fill it, so we twisted it all up and we're gonna refill it now. But I can show you this tree. We literally did it. I'm trying to show you where I live here. There's so many leaves on the ground. They're all over our driveway. So, so we're definitely gonna fill it. But anyways, my cat is freaking out because he, he's an indoor cat and we let him outside in the backyard sometimes, but we have to sit and watch him. But he seems to think that because we do it sometimes, it means he gets his way every single time. And he doesn't, so. I'm just gonna close off this vlog. I am currently editing. I have, an we have two appointments. We have, one is just for physiotherapy for my head here. And the second appointment is for a mortgage for a second home. So, that's what we are doing. It's a very exciting appointment. Let's see how much we can pull. We've already gone and seen some houses that like, we just kind of know we're obviously gonna get approved for it, but we're very curious to what we actually could pull. So, um, obviously like when you buy a home, you have to get the bank approval before you can put in a bid. So we're gonna do that.